Welcome back. Uh, Akisude Bada Johnson is in the studio right now. Good morning. Good to have you. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Cecilia. Um, it's always been a, a while. pleasure to be here talking <laughs> sport. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, um, I know transfer, you can't wait to talk about that. But yeah. before we go there, we'll be talking about the IOC, what's happening right now. Uh, Yemi, okay. Just shoot. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, a, a lot of issues have, have, been, um, have been of late. But, but, yeah. but let me get your own opinion. You know, before. Uh, when, when the bidding, a lot of major cities just pulled out. Mm -hmm. And the question now is, the, the financial constraints of hosting uh, mm -hmm. big events, is it taking a toll uh, on all of these uh, big countries? We're not even talking of mm -hmm. Africa, mm -hmm. and Asia, even the European yeah. countries yeah. pulling out last minute. Yeah, um, you, you could not put it in a, in, in a better way, really. Um, the economic um, demands of hosting a global event are huge. And a lot of times, you can't see the direct um, benefits to the host countries other than tourism, mm -hmm. which a lot of them already enjoy. So there will be a spike that period. But question to ask is Brazil, when they hosted the World Cup, um, I think they ran into um, an excess of over almost like 15, 16 million dollars yeah. above the, what they had planned okay. originally. Um, post the World Cup, did in tourism and whatnot, that they got back, did, did they deliver on those numbers? The question, the answer most likely will be no. So other than um, what it does for the country in terms of PR, um, the people that it brings in, um, and the propensity that they would come back another time, you know, which might not be true, <laughs> it doesn't really do much. So okay. you've got to be sure that you have that money to spend, not as an investment. Um, and these are very harsh economic uh, uh, times, you know, the climate, the world over, the world economy is just, you know, pretty much uh, moving away from a recession. So yeah. um, it, it's a good to have. It's a good to have. But a lot of cities right now would say thank you, but no thanks. Uh, let wait. me ask you the, the, the lead up question yeah. before we listen to the IOC president. They are going to announce the um, countries that will host the 2024 yeah. and 2028 on the same date. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying they're scared. They don't want what happened this year, last year, to happen to them again. Yeah. So they want to find a way to keep Paris mm -hmm. and LA as Los Angeles yeah. and just give, give one this, give the yeah, other this. Yeah, because yeah. The, 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 the incidents of the last year or two mm. has been a horror show. Do you agree with that? I agree, well? absolutely. Um, I agree. Um, Paris, I've got my, my fears for obvious reasons. It's, yeah. been, a it's, target for, yeah, it's been a target for terror terrorism um, lately. But um, I was in France some two weeks ago for an event that had over uh, 30,000 people in attendance, and security was absolutely top-notch. I was, I, was, I was blown away, you know. You couldn't even get close to, the, to within um, three streets of the venue if you didn't have a pass. Um, and you had, you know, world-class military personnel on the streets everywhere. You had all manner of gadgets from the airports. So much as Paris has been, as, you know, a, a, a spot for uh, ter terrorism lately, you can al almost accurately, you know, predict that they will they, they will it. host a hitch-free event. Los Angeles, the last time I think was '84. Yeah. Um, the city is huge. LA. I mean, we all want to go to LA. <laughs> I want to go to LA. <laughs> um, the rest of the world wants to go to LA, and um, we know that America would always host um, a great games. You were voting in. If you're in Peru and you're voting in September, who's going to get your vote? Especially, let me say this before you make your Macron. President Macron has been following Paris, uh, yeah. the guys with the Paris beat everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The U.S. president has said nothing. Mm. So if, if that... Okay, so we're saying them on Twitter. Without mean, on your mind... The American bid will be downplaying Trump because of the baggage that, you know, that, that is. comes with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, an America... Uh, People outside of America know that America can do, can host a great event. It's not like Nigeria, one of those third world economies where they are dependent on government. They would host a, a, a games that is purely financed by, by the corporate sector. It doesn't have anything to do with government. All government right. will support, yes, but they don't need Trump. They will never need Trump. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll wait till that decision um, is made, but let's listen to the IOC president talking about Thomas Bach, what he, what he had to say, just confirming the worst kept secret. So we'll be back for more on Sports This Morning. Uh, this uh, is a golden opportunity for today, uh, but uh, it is uh, of uh, really great, great importance uh, for uh, the future of uh, the Olympic Games, uh, because uh, in ensuring stability of uh, the Olympic Games uh, for 11 years, 
uh, is uh, really in, in, in our world uh, something uh, extraordinary. We think uh, that uh, today this is a, a great day uh, there for uh, the Olympic Games and uh, for the Olympic uh, movement and it's a, it's a great day uh, also for uh, these uh, two uh, wonderful uh, cities, these two great uh, Olympic uh, cities and uh, that uh, today uh, we have now created, uh, we have built the foundation on which uh, we are very confident that uh, we can then build uh, the win-win-win uh, situation uh, we are all uh, longing for and then to make it uh, finally happen uh, then in uh, Lima just in a, in a couple of uh, months. You know, in the past we've looked at the Olympics as when you bid, it's a winner-take-all. There's the old cliche, there is no sil silver medal when you bid. But maybe the better metaphor has been in Olympic history, we've actually had 37 times which there has been a tie for a gold medal. And maybe today is the 38th, a time in which two cities with two great bids, two places that have worked very hard after their nations have struggled before to bring the Olympic Games home. I now know that I am sitting up here with the two mayors of two cities that will host, after Tokyo, the next two Olympics. And for each one of us, I think that is an exciting day. For myself, it certainly is that I'm thrilled we're one step closer to making that happen. Though I have full confidence that we will get there. Um, for example. All right, um, I can tell you your immediate reaction. We have to leave this issue, but yeah. listening to the Arab president. Yeah, um, so you mentioned Macron, um, young president, one of the world's youngest presidents. Um, he's got vigor, he's got energy, he's got vibrancy, and um, he'd like France to put up a, a spectacle, you know, a, 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 a memorable showpiece. Um, America might not have Trump's, you know, support, but we know what the Americans do, can do. Um, I mean, in terms of expressly support, you know, Macron has been upfront, you know, following them all over the place, leading, you know,